Hello, High Point University. Man, am I excited to be here this morning. I'll tell you what, what a fabulous campus you guys have to grow, develop, and learn. Holy cow. My name is Carl Barnowski, founder of the Barnowski Financial Group. And, uh, you know, I was flying up here yesterday, and I was talking to somebody on the plane. <clears throat> they asked me a very common question. They said to me, what is it that you do for a living? How many people have had that question before? Tons of us, right? My response to that is this. My job is to make sure that baby boomers and their parents a lot of times sleep well at night. Holy cow. I mean, what an opportunity for me to impact this country and the economic situation of so many families. So today, we're gonna to talk about what makes baby boomers sleep well at night. But before we do that, we're gonna talk about what keeps them awake. What's stress? Stress is all about uncertainty, right? You don't know. Anyone ever been to Vegas and gambled a little bit? When you throw those dice, holy cow, you get that feeling. Am I gonna lose my money? Picture yourself as a 63-year-old. Maybe your stock portfolio took a hit back in the late 80s and you're just now recovering. Maybe you got a few kids in college. Maybe one right here. Pretty expensive, right? Maybe you're also having to spend some time dealing with and taking care of a loved one or a parent who's, who's eight, you know, they're suffering, their health is not so, so good right now. A lot of stress involved. Stress is caused by uncertainty. What is uncertainty when it comes to your finances? What do we call that? If you don't know absolutely for sure what you're doing with your money, we call that gambling. Nobody likes to gamble with their money, especially the money that's producing income. So we're gonna talk about what makes baby boomers sleep well at night. I've boiled it down to four things. I've been in the financial services industry for 22 years now, and there's four things that make boomers and retirees sleep well at night. The first one is good health. My grandmother used to say, you know what, Carl, without your health, you have absolutely nothing. As I get older, I'll tell you what, that's absolutely true, right? You could have all the money in the world, but if you can't get out and enjoy yourself, you got problems. And you're gonna see as we go through these four items real quickly, that each one is kind of related. So once one goes, the rest of them soon will follow. The second one is mobility, right? Being able to get around, a lot of people, when they, when they lose their driver's license, for example, it's a very traumatic thing for, for elderly people. So whether it's getting out and, and not being able to drive or it, it just take a simple walk or play golf with your friends, if you lose your health, typically mobility is the next thing to go. Number three, socialization, right? My grandmother was the absolute queen of socialization. I would call her up on the telephone and I would say, you know, first of all, she was never home. And I remember getting her on the phone once in a while and she would say, Carl, you know what? You never call me. And I said, Graham, first of all, you don't have, a, you don't have a, uh, an answering machine. And secondly, you're always out and about. You're delivering meals to people, you're running errands. You gotta be social, right? Being social is a critical part of keeping mentally stimulated, physically stimulated, spending time with friends and family. But if you don't have mobility, you lose your ability to socialize, right? The last thing is sustainable income for life. What is the biggest concern that boomers and retirees face as they're going into retirement? Do I have enough money and will it last me my entire life? Sustainable income for life means without a doubt, every day that you wake up and every month when your bills come in that you know without question you have enough money. Picture that for a second. That's like hitting the lottery, isn't it? So, there's only three ways to generate sustainable income for life. I don't care what your advisor tells you. I don't care what you read in Kiplinger Magazine or Forbes or anything like that. There's only three vehicles, three ways that will provide you with guaranteed income for life with no questions asked. The first one is Social Security. One of the biggest questions that boomers and people that come to see us have is when do I start taking Social Security? It's a very traumatic thing. I had a lady in my office just a few weeks ago, her name was Betty, and I could tell the minute she walked in the door she was absolutely stressed. Absolutely stressed. She'd just come from the Social Security Administration office and I could see this look on her face like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing. And we sat down and I said, Betty, what's bothering you? And she said, you know, I was just at the SSA, 
My big question is when do I start taking Social Security? I have no clue. My son says yes. The person I play golf with says no. I mean, I went to Social Security Administration and they weren't any help. And I said, Betty, you know what? A lot of people make the mistake of not doing the right thing here. So don't feel bad. The good news is you haven't filed yet and we can figure this out. But, you know, taking the advice of friends and one of the things that you probably don't realize is that 72% of the people in this country file early at age 62. Why do they do that? They don't know any better. They feel it's the very first opportunity to get some money flowing in. And I said, Betty, how would you feel if you filed that paperwork and you started that benefit and found out a few weeks later that if you waited just 36 months, I could give you a 45% increase in that paycheck? That's a lot of money for Betty. And I said, Betty, the other thing is, if we were able to figure out based on your finances that we could actually stretch your benefit out for seven years instead of just three, if we could wait seven years, we can increase your benefit by 98%. We're doubling your Social Security Administration check every month for life. 72% of this country that is pulling Social Security right now filed at age 72. 80% of this country that walks into the Social Security Administration actually expects to get advice from that person that they're meeting with. A lot of people don't know this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a secret of the Social Security Administration. If you were actually got your hands on one of the employee handbooks from the folks that work there, it actually says in bold print, you cannot offer advice or suggestions to the folks that you're assisting in filing. Holy cow. If you knew that going in, would your mentality be a little bit different? It's absolutely critical that you get this portion of your retirement income planning done the right way. The other two aspects of guaranteed income for life are pensions and annuities. So let's just do a little pretend. Let's, we already pretended that we we're a 63 year old full of stress. Let's close our eyes and just pretend for a minute that you have all the money in the world that you will ever need, regardless of what happens to the economy, regardless of what happens to the stock market, every day that you wake up, you know without a doubt that you have enough money. How does that make you feel? Most of our clients feel as though they hit the lottery. I know my grandparents did, that's how they lived, and that's how we're trying to duplicate that environment for all of our clients. It's just an amazing thing to, to help people be able to do this. I want to thank you for having me today. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you about what it is that I do in the Barnowski Financial Group. Uh, such an amazing campus. Uh, if you have absolutely any questions, I know this is a very big crowd and we're not unable to ask questions in this venue, but absolutely come and see me after we're done here or feel free to contact me at my office. Thanks again for having me.